First of all, I will uh, zoom in on the face so it's clearer to see uh, what we are going to do to the picture. Then I go to filter and I'm going to choose uh, uh, other and custom. The custom filter will open up uh, as a grid and uh, in the default values you'll see we've got a grid of uh, uh, one uh, on uh, uh, each uh, side, top, bottom, left and right and five in the middle and also scale down here and if you notice one minus one minus one minus one makes negative four which at scale one it balance back uh, the value uh, five so whatever number we decide to add here it has to balance back you see that if I add for instance a number one in the top left cell here it will end up that the picture will suddenly become too white everything will become extremely uh, bright so in order to balance back that value I will have to insert the negative value the negative one in the opposite direction hence on uh, this uh, cell at the bottom right see on the on the diagonal of that uh, number so negative one and by doing so I am uh, balancing back the value and adding uh, contrast to the picture if I zoom out now you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing to the picture the contrast is increasing uh, greatly and it's particularly interesting what happening in the eyes but not really on the skin so before applying the custom filter I'm gonna press cancel and go back for a second I'm gonna apply filter and convert for smart filters and then back to my filter other and custom we've learned already what numbers to apply so I'm gonna apply one on the top left and negative one on the bottom right so we balance back and press OK. The advantage of using a smart filter is that now I've got a, a smart filter mask here that I can use to paint away what I don't like about the custom filter. And what I don't like is what has done to the skin. So I'm going to make sure that I take a brush tool, the normal brush tool with a soft tip from the uh, menu here on top. Um, I'm going to make the tip a little bit smaller and I make sure that I pick um, black as a foreground color here at the bottom. The shortcut, if you want to set it uh, as a foreground, is a D followed by X. Now, with a brush, I can brush on the skin and you see that the skin will go back to normal as it was before, but I paint only on the skin, but not paint on the areas that I want to maintain and I want to uh, keep uh, contrasted. So I paint around uh, the lips, I paint around the eyes, but I don't paint on the lips, I don't paint on the eyes, I don't paint on the nostrils or on the uh, eyelash. So anything that I will paint will return back to normal, whereas anything that I don't paint will remain sharpened as a set by the custom filter. So a quick uh, before and after to see what I've done. This is before the custom filter and this is after the custom filter. This is before the layer mask was applied and this is after the layer mask has been applied. A little bit closer so it's easier to see on the eye in particular. We can go on this eye. So this is before the custom filter, after the custom filter. This one is before the mask was applied and this one is after the mask has been applied.